Hello and welcome to the fifth tutorial on how to make a game in XNA. So now in the previous tutorial we created a mouse cursor and I believe we finished uh, yeah, the man rotating and stuff. Okay, so in this tutorial we'll try to go over uh, organizing all our classes and everything into one list or an array. So we don't have to keep typing everything over and over again. It will just loop through all these things we have to type in and uh, do everything for us. So the first thing we want to do is in our items class that we created at the beginning, uh, we're going to create new public static. Okay, static, that's important. If you don't know what static means, that basically means that we don't have to create an object to access that variable. So here, I'll show you right now. Public static list. So list is going to be, uh, I forgot, no I, actually I think it's, it's just with, I think it's, I don't know if it's XNA or something else but okay we're gonna create a list. And the nice thing about list and uh, that over arrays is list you can keep adding new things to the list without estimating a number or setting a maximum amount of numbers, a maximum amount of things you want to add to the list. So. Uh, the list will consist of objects, which is the class we created, and we're going to create, and I'm just going to name it object list. Okay, simple enough. Equals new list object. Okay, and nice thing about this is here, if we go, go anywhere, we can access this variable from anywhere without declaring something. So, see, I just type in the class name dot and then I get the object oops and I get the object list. You see I don't have I don't even have to declare a new variable. It's already there. It's static. That's the nice thing about static variables and methods. So methods you can also access without creating a new instance of that object. So once we have that down uh, we want to start getting rid of all this stuff. and creating a for each loop. So for each actually wait, let me think about this. Wait this second. Okay, yeah. I just remember something. Okay, we have to create some more methods in the items class. So we create public static reset. Reset. So this will basically uh, reset all the objects in the object list. Actually void. Okay, there we go. And actually, one thing I forgot in the object class is to set, uh, put another variable called alive. So this will be a boolean, which is either true or false. Name this alive equals false. Actually, true. Actually, yeah, true. and what this will do is, uh, is if alive equals true, it will continue to update and draw. If you're not alive, then you won't update or draw because what if we want something dead or not to draw or anything like that or take a uh, CPU time so if alive if you're alive continue to do what you do actually you know what to make it easier I'm just gonna say if you're not alive and if you see I just put an exclamation mark before alive to just symbolize that says not if you're not alive then you're going to return. And return in methods basically just means stop. Or it just returns a value. And since the value that this method returns is nothing, I don't have to return anything. So it just returns and doesn't complete anything below it. So that's what that does. And we want to do the same thing with draw. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to put it in my man class as well. We're not alive turn and I don't know cursor I want always to be alive so that doesn't matter so in the object uh, the reset thing I'm gonna loop through all of them and set alive to false so for each object oops. O in object list o dot alive equals ah, false. 
So this basically just loops through all the objects and sets O to the current index of that object and then sets that to false. Looks like I'm going to have to end this pretty soon since my sister's playing piano. I'll continue. Okay. So, okay. So, okay, so, after we created a reset thing, we have to, method, we have to create a public static void initialize method. And this will basically just initialize all the objects we want to initialize. <laughs> Can't put it any better way. So what we do, what we can do is we can do object list dot add and then add whatever we want. Uh, in this case, I'm going to add a new man. New man and name this. What should I name it? Oh no, I don't have to name it. Durr. What am I thinking? Okay, we have to import all the X and A framework. Okay, so create high points fifty by fifty. Okay. So like that. And if we want to add something like a lot of something, we can just have a for loop loop through it many times. And what is here? Okay. So actually one. So the initialize method on game one we can have items dot initialize. Like that. Okay. So then we have then an update method. Actually, we want to initialize some more stuff. So we want to initialize the cursor too, right? Cursor. Okay. So all we have to do to add a new item is just put uh, something new in the initialize method, and that's it. We'll write the code here to do everything else for us. So what we want to do now is an update method uh, loop through each of these items. Actually, let's do the load content method first. Loop through each of these items and load its content. Since they're all object classes, they should have the same method. So for each object O in items dot object list. Remember we made it static. That's why we were able to reach it. So O dot actually O dot load content and then we want to put this dot content. We want to put the content manager in the side as an argument. And we it's basically like this for the rest of the methods as well. So for the update method it's O dot update and for draw method let's indent this it's o dot draw and we just put the sprite match okay and so this should draw everything we want so let's go just go test it how we're doing on time uh, almost running out of time just a couple minute, minutes so after this we probably should end it here so as you can see uh, it added everything in perfectly and if we want to add more people or more, more things we would just add it here so look I'm just gonna put these put random coordinates here like that we want it and the, there should be multiple uh, man classes or multiple instances of man you see and all we had to do was add two new pieces of line, and that was it. Uh, in most, some of my games, what I like to do is I like to have something called a map reader or uh, an XML reader, which reads an XML file and it places objects or new instances of objects according to that XML file. But we probably won't go into that. We might, but I'm not sure. Well, thank you for watching this tutorial. I would appreciate. If you left a rating, and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.